Eaton's Beeline Series BB5 Hands-Free Box Support Stud Bracket can increase your productivity. With a simple push, the bracket holds itself onto the stud and frees up both your hands while you finish installing it. The hands-free design makes installation fast and easy and can save up to 15 seconds per cycle. The bracket also has an innovative built-in back support accessory that extends the stud depth range out to 6 inches. Just snap off the extender accessory and quickly reconnect it. No more ordering separate bracket sizes or back support accessories. Brackets can also interlock with one another. This ensures the boxes are mounted at the same height on either side of the stud, eliminating the need to measure box heights. Innovative Marty Mouse Ears further assists with installation by keeping boxes from falling off when the mud ring is removed, and the Rabbit Ears allow the attachment of a data device, like a card reader, without the use of a box. For more information, or to request samples of Eaton's Beeline Series hands-free box support stud bracket, Visit Eaton.com forward slash HF dash bracket or contact your local Eaton Beeline representative. Hey Green Mountain customers, let's talk about this Reliance THP 108 Power Back. The Reliance Power Back is intended to be installed on a manual transfer panel or generator ready load center during a power outage when the main breaker has been turned off. To allow the generator to provide emergency power to the panel, the power back can be activated and will emit a pulsing 105 decibel alarm when the power outage ends and the utility power is available again. The power back installs in a half inch knockout in the panel within 20 inches of one of the utility hot legs. It includes an 8 inch current sensing antenna at the end of a 22 inch jacked lead. When wrapped around one of the hot legs to the main circuit breaker, the antenna will detect the returning utility current and activate the sonic alert. It has lights for system armed and low battery. It takes a 9 volt battery and is UL listed with a 5 year warranty. Check it out for yourself or ask a salesperson for more information today.
The LED ultra-thin wafer downlight from Lithonia Lighting. Ultra-thin recessed downlighting with remote driver box for quick, simple, and housing-free installations. There is no housing required. It's rated for wet location. Ultimately, it can be installed anywhere. The LED ultra-thin wafer downlight from Lithonia Lighting comes as a complete unit consisting of two parts, the LED module and the remote driver box. Its low profile design makes it the ideal solution for locations with shallow plenums. Also included in the box is the installation instruction sheet and a hole template should a new hole be required in the ceiling. Check that all the parts are included. The LED ultra thin wafer downlight easily installs in the ceiling through direct wiring to a power source. The only tools needed for installation other than a ladder is a saw. A drill saw can be used for exact diameter. Before you begin with the installation process, when working with electrical components, make sure you turn off the power at the main breaker and that your eyes are properly protected. Double check and measure the size of the ceiling hole. Be sure it is the correct size for the outside rim of the luminaire to cover the hole while still allowing the back of the luminaire to secure to the ceiling with the springs holding firmly. If a new hole is to be cut, use the provided hole template or drill saw with the diameter needed. Mark your center and then cut the opening with the saw. Pull electrical wire and cut length needed. Open the cover of the remote driver box and remove one of the knockouts. Locate the power supply leads from the remote driver box and connect to power source using the provided Wago connectors. Connect the black wire to the live wire, white wire to neutral wire, and green wire to the ground wire. Secure each with the Wago connector. Be sure all connections are made inside the driver box. Close the cover of the driver box. Place the remote driver box through the cutout hole and lay it on the ceiling. Pull the spring clips on the fixture up and through the cutout hole. Place the module in the hole, making sure the spring clips are holding securely. Turn on the electricity at the circuit breaker box and walk back into the room where the fixture is installed. Turn the power in the room back on and be sure the module illuminates. This completes the installation of the LED Ultra Thin Wafer Downlight from Lithonia Lighting. For more information, visit www.acuitybrands.com.